Hey everybody, Coach Lance from OnlineHockeyTraining.com and welcome to another installment of the OHT Got Hands Playoff Play of the Day. As the first round has come to a close, many of the early favorites to win the elusive Stanley Cup have been eliminated from these 2019 NHL playoffs. With so much optimism going into this postseason for the teams that were shown the door, it just proves yet again how difficult it is to win this iconic championship trophy. I thought it would be fitting to say farewell to Act 1 of this NHL playoff performance by paying homage to one of the fallen, our last year's champion, the Washington Capitals. Today I'll be focusing on their leader, their big toe, Alexander Ovechkin. Known his entire career for his highlight reel goals, but will always be connected to an area on the ice that has become his wheelhouse for delivering bombs that foes have yet to find a way to defend on any consistent basis. My wife always says after he scores a goal from that left side of the net spot, how can he always score from there? Why don't they have someone over there covering him? It would be so easy, just put a guy over there. Anyways, yes, Alex Ovechkin is known for bringing the heat, but what I want to highlight today is not his prolific goal-producing ability, but Ovi's dangles. In this particular move, he pulled off in the Caps' final game of the season versus Carolina. The name of the move the grade 8 executed at the highest of levels is called the toe drag. Dictionary.com doesn't have a definition for it, so I thought I'd give it a crack, and you can improve on it in the comments if you'd like, and hopefully Dictionary.com picks it up and makes it official. There we go. Please define, is this, sorry, I got a smudge on my glasses. There we go, sorry about that. Please define, <laughs> I've never heard of this before. Please define toe drag. <clears throat> Toe drag, the stick handling technique used to deceptively maneuver or manipulate the puck using the forehand toe of the stick blade. Also referred to as the toe pull or the pull-in move. It's best known for making opposition look silly. I think that works. We'll see what happens. Now the toe drag has been around for a long time, but only a small percentage of hockey players actually take the time to actually learn the proper mechanics on how to execute it or how to train off ice in order to gain proficiency and confidence so you can even attempt it on the ice. Here are some drill progressions that I use with players here at my training facility in Minnesota to get them more comfortable using the toe of the stick blade that you can also try at home. So let's begin. The first thing we have to go over is the grip change that happens when we activate the toe of the stick blade. When dribbling, the side of the thumb is on the side of the shaft, better known as the V-grip. When we're going to activate the toe of the stick blade, the knob of the stick slides down to our fingertips and all we have to do is press the magic toe button an instant toe drag. I want you to feel the difference between the two grips. First, let's start with the V grip where the side of the thumb is on the side of the shaft. Don't change your hand position. Bring your stick blade over to the forehand side, push the puck out forward, bring the heel of the blade up and pull it back. Do it one more time and pull it back. It's very awkward. Now change the grip where the knob slides down to your fingertips and press the magic toe button and do the same thing. Push it out, heel up, pull it back. Push it out, heel up, pull it back. Can you feel the difference? A fun way to get using the forehand toe of the stick blade is by practicing letter patterns. The two that I'm using today are the W and M patterns. Players maneuver the puck back and forth across the letter, always keeping it on the forehand, pulling it in towards the body with the toe of the blade. From there, I'll increase the difficulty by doing the spoke drill. The player has to push the puck forward with the forehand and pull it back with the toe, avoiding hitting the sticks on the ground, keeping the lower body quiet. Next, I'll add forward movement on the Pitlick stick handling grid, where the player moves the puck from yellow line to yellow line, pulling it across the body, backhand to forehand, using the toe of the blade. For the next progression, the player will be doing a quick toe heel on the left hand side of each of the orange barriers and then pull the puck to in front of the body and repeat moving forward. This drill is a favorite with players where I spot a puck on one side of the sweet hands, he grabs it with the toe, pulls it down, cups it around changing the angle, steps towards the net and releases the shot. I increase the difficulty by putting a 2x4 on the ground, limiting the transition space before the shot. Finally we get to the maneuver Mr. Ovechkin showed us. I'll have the player attack the puck now, pull it down avoiding the sweet hands, and wire a shot. Another variation you can practice is instead of pulling the puck down and taking a forehand shot, now pull the puck down, pull it all the way across your body, step towards the net, and end with a backhand shot. And this is what that looks like.
Well, that's all I have for you today. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you like the video, please like the video. And if you know someone in your hockey circle that might also enjoy the video, please share it. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.